So did I lose everything because I bought everything? No, definitely not. What's going on, guys? It's Ricky with TechBud Solutions. Again, just like I explained in yesterday's video, uh, one thing that I talked about is that I was preparing for the NASDAQ market as it's oversold, right? It's pretty uh, much common sense. We're approaching previous support range. So obviously, it's in my best interest to you know not only make myself aware, but just like we talk about here on YouTube, to make everyone aware of previous support levels. Yeah, patterns tend to repeat themselves, but they don't always have to. And just like I explained in yesterday's video, right? I'm waiting for confirmation. I'm not carrying a position overnight until we get that confirmation. So with S with TQQQ being down 3.4% on the day, right? On the one minute time frame, a gap down from yesterday's performance. I locked in my profits yesterday. I made $12,000 yesterday on TQQQ. The day before that, the, the previous trading day on Friday, I made 35,000. I closed out that trade. I closed out the trade that I took yesterday. And today, I have not opened up a trade. I just talked to my LPP team during our live trading session. And just so you can see, I have my one lucky share. And it's the same position that I, right? I leave myself open with one lucky share every single time. I have no open position. The same thing with um, SQQQ. I felt like I missed out on this one because it gapped up overnight. And I was okay with just not entering SQQ as I view it to be too overbought now. But I think that this is a concept that a lot of people struggle with when they're just getting started. I mean, you'll be able to see it in the comments section when people are like, aha, you know, you missed out on this trade or, you know, I can't predict the future. I, I could not tell that, oh, you know, SQQ was going to gap up, right? Um, it's great. It's great that if you held that position, I mean, you probably lost yesterday on SQQQ, uh, but you had a nice little comeback today, which again, is still a great and positive takeaway. My thing is, I mean, I trade with a little bit more money, I would say, than the average beginner trader. I trade with half a million dollars, right? So therefore, it, my my position to carry a position overnight and just hold it just because I can isn't something that's going to be in my best interest, right? I need to look out for myself. You need to be selfish. I need to be selfish. And one of the most important things is understanding the importance of patience and waiting for proper criteria and confirmation to be met. And we just haven't seen that yet, right, with QQQ. So although I do view it to be a little bit on the oversold side based off of recent patterns, I'm ready. I'm ready still to buy everything, right? But I know that I it's in my best interest that regardless of, of the setup that we have here, that I need to stay patient and wait for this proper confirmation of this reversal. Because I've been burned enough that where I do try to buy the dip or I do try to, let's say, short the market as we're at a support range, and then all of a sudden, then the market begins to recover. And that's the last thing that I want. We're at a critical range right now where we're, we're testing support. Now, if we show s progress on the downside, then I'd be more than happy to continue to short the market with all of the bears, right? But I need that confirmation. As of right now, we have none. We're still at that same support range and we're still not validating anything. We're still testing potential support and testing a potential resistant, uh, reversal, right? Um, I do want to share with you a series of economic reports that were released this morning during today's live trading session. We had the consumer confidence report and the new home sales. Consumer confidence came in at 103 when the expectation was 105. It did cause the market to sell off a little bit more. New home sales came in a little bit lower than uh, than what was expected at 675, 675,000 versus 695,000, which means um, less new homes are being sold than what was expected. Again, it's an economic report, but it's not the end of the world. Um, as of right now, on the one minute time frame, it looks like we are trying to test this reversal on this EMA, but th this looks like a fake out to me, right? So Ricky, okay, well now is it time to jump into TQQQ? And again, this is where patience comes in. And this is where is your criteria being met? Even if I don't trade today, right? Even if you don't trade today, it shouldn't be the end of the world, right? A, a solid opportunity with clear direction and good risk to reward ratios doesn't need to present itself every day, right? Let's keep trading simple. And out of the 252 trading days that we are given every single year, if one day, you know, you just happen to not take a trade, it's okay, right? Because you held yourself accountable to the point where you didn't open yourself to some form of risk that you weren't comfortable with. And as of right now, I'm waiting. I'm waiting to see if we show progress above this EMA for a potential trade on TQQQ, right? But if we continue to get rejected, then I'll continue to cheer on the bears, right? Because the NASDAQ market as of right now is selling off as it doesn't take away anything from it, right? I have no open position on either side right now. I'm just waiting for literally conditions to be more favorable. 
either more bullish or to break below that support on the one hour time frame and to be confirmed that we are more bearish, right? And that's on QQQ, as we can see right on over here. So I'm excited to follow up. I'm still getting ready, right? It's market tends to be more bullish than bearish. So I'm still ready. If the market does begin to recover, I'm ready to step on the gas. But if the market does begin to sell off, I'm also ready to short the market with all of the bears. And that's the thing. Put yourself in a position to succeed. Stop, you know, overcomplicating your trading or feeling the need that you always have to be right every day. There's nothing wrong with taking a step back. And if conditions are not as favorable to simply take it as that and just stay patient, right? And if you don't trade that day, it's not the end of the world. So if you have any questions about today, feel free to shoot me a direct message via Discord. I'm very excited to follow up. And that one time frame, right? That one hour time frame is everything for me. Are we going to break below or are we going to break above and confirm that reversal? Only time will tell. And that's why we set alert and allow the opportunity to present itself. So I'm excited to follow up. I hope that earned your thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. If you have any questions, shoot me a direct message. And if you want to tune on into one of our live sessions as soon as tomorrow to be able to watch me trade live, that's the second link in the description down below. I appreciate your time. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.